you sent me an email. It happened again, and now it's happening again. It's I'm happening talking right to you on Skype. I'm 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 dealing with my uh, remodeling, and I'm trending on Twitter because anytime somebody sees something ridiculous on a wrestling program, they all get on to talk about me and what I'm going to say about it rather than what they were actually watching. So I continue to trend apparently on Twitter automatically uh, due to these, due to these things. Well, let me ask you about one of them because I have something here. I think this was one of the reasons you started the trend the other day. And now you have become beyond the post office ninja and the most irrelevant man who's relevant in wrestling, I think you're now the king of clickbait because every single website listens to the podcast and then just takes snippets of what you say. Yeah. <laughs> and that becomes a headline that drives people fucking mad. Jim Cornette likes cool weather. Run with that. There was an article on a uh, website, Sports Skeeta, and it was you saying, it was your hot take, it says here, from the Jim Cornette experience, I paid attention. Under one minute and 15 seconds, they, Moxley and Brody King, <laughs> went to the floor. I just said, fuck it. Moxley's the worst wrestler in the world, and I tried to fast forward to the finish, but AEW can't manage the time, so they almost ran over. And people lost their mind over you saying Moxley is the worst wrestler in the world. Can that be that unique of a comment? I mean, there are other people in the world that will watch Moxley wrestle and what other, what other impression can you come away from it? Um, same thing every time. Most of it looks phony. Some of it looks stiff and painful. Much of it looks dangerous. None of it makes any sense. Can we find a silver lining in this dark rain cloud? So I, I again, I'm, I'm appreciative that everybody wants to know what I think about everything, but it's not like these are revolutionary comments because if you got two eyes, a brain and cognitive function, you can see the things that I'm pointing out. So it's not like I'm, you know, discovering the goddamn what's lays beneath the curse of Oak Island here. I'm just looking at what I'm, everybody's looking at and giving my thoughts. So I, I appreciate that they think that I'm revolutionary and groundbreaking, that I can see all these things that that nobody else can see, but I think you could probably see them if you just paid attention. And some people do see them, but they're just too fucking gutless and chicken to tell the truth. But when, when it comes to Moxley, saying that he's not good or you don't like him or you don't see it, that's one thing. The worst wrestler in the world, that takes in a lot of wrestlers. Well, yes, but then see, now you got to remember to grade on the curve. Because there are a lot of shitty wrestlers that nobody ever sees, right? And then there are more shitty wrestlers that some people see. But every once in a while, they do something good. But then there are people like the CEO of Moxley Plumbing that they're on TV all the time. And they're used in a prominent position. And there are some people who like that kind of thing, and for the kind of thing, or for the kind of people who like that kind of thing, those are the kind of thing that those people like. But if that is what truthfully makes him stand out, because he's on TV all the time, he's in a pushed position where you would think that the guy in that position should know what the fuck he's doing. And every time we, it's the same shit, and it wasn't that good the first time. And it's worse now. Talk about drinking blood. Do a promo that sounds great until you realize that he never really fucking made a point for three minutes. Go out there, face to face, trade a few blows that you're not trying to duck, hit the floor within a minute, rattle furniture around, do some more outlaw bullshit, pull out a thumbtack or two, and do some screwy finish where it's flatter than four o'clock because... You choke the guy out with no fucking build to the climax whatsoever. Have you ever seen him do anything? Oh, and, and occasionally there's a stuntman bump thrown in if it's some kind of garbage stipulation match. What have I missed about John Moxley's matches that I didn't just mention? 
Oh, I forgot. And the phony elbows and things where he thinks that nobody's paying any attention and he's just acting like he's hitting someone, but he's really not. But if you're up in the cheap seats, it might fool you if you're on the other side and from behind. Now I've mentioned everything. Yeah, I'm not a big Moxley fan. I'm not a big fan of it. Motherfucker, now the car me. Are they going to charge you too? Fuck off. There we go. Now I get to do one on the show. I'm not a big Moxley fan. That was him on the line. And I think with a lot of wrestlers today, and this is going to sound funny considering the CM Punk song, but I do think there's a cult of personality. Whether someone's talented or not in the ring, I think people latch on to the people and that's their person and they're going to be with them ride or die. And I think there's a lot of people like that with Moxley because sometimes I watch him and I can't understand how anyone sees very much in him. And I just watched him last night at Dynamite. I'll wait to talk about that because I know you haven't watched it yet. Another match where I thought his opponent really shined, actually. And people said I was Moxley doing that, but you'll see what I mean. <laughs> but I wouldn't call him the worst wrestler in the world. Now, I do think he's been overexposed for me because I certainly did not not like him as much as I don't like him right now when he was on TV less. When he wasn't the AEW champion on TV every week. But I don't, he's one of those guys I don't get. And early on, I heard comparisons when he was Dean Ambrose. You heard the Terry Funk ones and the Roddy oh, Piper ones. I know, before I'd ever seen this guy, I heard all that. And then I saw him, I'm like, what the, that was part of the big letdown. I was built up to think, oh shit, this guy might be something in that, this, eh? And, and, it, you would have thought that he would try to come into the company and make them more professional because he's worked for, whether you like it or not, folks, the biggest wrestling promotion in the world, and he's learned or should have learned, like others of those people have, something about major league television production and how to bring in an audience with a story and instead of this garbage indie shit and he couldn't wait to get out of there so that he could forget anything that he might have accidentally learned and go back to garbage wrestling. The guy idolizes the bank addicted drug robber. The guy goes out of his way to do these garbage wrestling shows where they have hardcore bullshit because that's his fetish and his fantasy. But yet still he's, allowing himself and promoting himself to be pawned off on the wrestling public as a real legitimate mainstream major league star in wrestling. And he's got the worst garbage indie outlaw habits of anybody this side of fucking Ian Rotten. So I think he's not only the shits, I think he's bad for the business and the impressionable youngsters that don't, they don't know any better. They refuse to learn and they won't take legitimate advice from competent professionals, but they'll copy the fuck out of what he does because that's their same Mark minded philosophy about wrestling. And then they can say, but I'm just doing it because Moxley does it and he's a star. So that's why a guy like that is worse for the business than somebody who you don't ever see and is somewhere isolated in a little outlaw show and doesn't mean anything. But this guy is high profile and he's the shits and he encourages other wrestlers to be the shits. But I guess the question is, <laughs> are you the shits if the people like you? Can you well, both yes. be the shits and be pop? Can you be the shits and be popular? Both these things can be true because we just talked about McDonald's. Most of their food is the shits. I mean, it's if you find the, the, the one place where the manager cares and the employees give a shit and you catch them when they've just cooked it, it otherwise, it's the shits. But the lines are around the block because of the marketing, merchandising, and mass hysteria. And that's what I think has taken over with some of the mar marketing, merchandising, and mass hysteria for pockets for fucking Moxley, for a variety of these pet projects that these, the marks that are in charge of the wrestling business these days think are funny and cute. 